Hi everyone. In this video we build up on the previous videos by Clement and Matthew and use curves of principal moment to create ribs for a freeform concrete slab. Also, you'll find a link to the grasshopper file in the description. We start with a simple surface which gets meshed with the resolution of one meter and then converted to a shell element. This shell element has a cross section of 10 centimeters and the material concrete applied. We use the corner points of the surface as our support points and we apply a gravity load to the model. Then the model gets assembled and calculated and here we have our shell view and our model view where you can see the results right away. Um, we use the loads and the supports and the cross section later on again. That's why we have here these containers um, going to the right side. After the calculation, we use the line results on shell component to visualize the principal moment lines on the shell. Let me just turn this off. And we use the mesh points from the mesh to shell component to, to be used as seat points for the line results on shell component. I use a cow pattern so not every node um, gets selected, otherwise there would be way more lines visible than we actually need. The output of the line results on shell component are the lines in the two directions. And we can use them now to apply ribs to the shell element. For that we at first join the curves and then use the surface from the beginning to project those lines onto the surface. and split the surface into the corresponding seg segments. Using the B-Rep edge component, we now get, can use the naked edges and explode them to get our beam elements and our vertices we, are, we will use to again mesh the surface from the beginning. And with this line component here we generate our beam elements. These lines get then feed into the line to beam component where we apply a cross section and an eccentricity. And also we orient the beam in Z direction according to the normal vector of the surface. Now we have our we have our inclusion points here. We need to apply them to the surface again. Now I'm using a little bit finer mesh resolution. And this also gets then converted again to a shell element. And here you can see the, resolu uh, the result of the mesh b webs component with our inclusion points applied. This is necessary so the beams or the ribs in this case um, are connected to the shell element. If we've done all that we can then again assemble the model again and analyze it. 
and there you can see our new shell mesh with the ribs applied. And if I now use the uh, turn on the deformation, you can see the ribs move correspondingly to the surface and everything is connected together and works well. Thank you for watching.